I'm gonna dry my eyes. Curling now enters the Sports Weekend Spotlight. You are you in the house and, and you know we're getting ready. I see you've got the curling on in the background, but yeah. you don't want to talk to me. You want to talk to Colleen. So go ahead. I, Chris, yes, Chris, thank you for joining us. It's Where so are nice you joining you. us from? Where are you joining us I'm in us Toronto from? right now. Nice. I'm a family doctor here downtown. Um, nice. But I wanted, to, I wanted to tell you a, a story that I okay. grew up in a town like right outside of Pugwash, Nova Scotia. Yes. And so right around the time that you and all the ladies were doing incredibly well on the world stage, I was, you know, 10, 14, like in that age range. I was like involved in all kinds of sports. Um, but like at that time, I started to realize that I was different from everyone else. And then when I see you guys, and who could, no offense, be my mom, out on the world stage, just dominating it, doing it your own way. Like the skirts were a thing that people talked about. You didn't talk like anyone else. So like... It just, it made, it made it okay for me to not belong in sport. And like, it, it was really powerful. And at that, I mean, Serena and Venus were at like climbing the, po like they were doing everything at that time. So like, thank you for doing that for me. <laughs> that, uh, that just makes me so happy to hear. Thank you for telling that story. And um, it, it, it's not a unique experience. I've heard it from other people. So I hope you and the girls know that you've kind of had that effect on the queer community. Oh, you're so nice. Um, Chris, let's talk about curling now. Please. I'm going to dry my eyes. <laughs> let, me, let me jump in really quick because, Colleen, the broadcast needs you. Um, <laughs> we're getting a no. So okay. you need to go right now. All um, right. Chris, you Chris, and I will continue. And Chris, love you. Thank love you. Thank you. Too. Enjoy the game today. And really thank you well. for sharing that story. That meant a lot. Call, you're on the air. <laughs> um, <laughs> Chris, it's our show now. Um, I love it. Uh, but and, and wonderful to see you. Uh, like first it. of all, I know you're a huge fan, and, and I'm really glad you got that moment with Colleen. Uh, some thoughts, because I know uh, you've been watching all of this. Some thoughts as we get ready for First Rocks. I, I, I think the most of the show we talked about the communication. I agree that that's something as a, like just a viewer you're noticing, especially when there's a disconnect. I feel like it's, it's probably not as big a deal on the ice, but as a viewer, when that's all you're hearing is kind of someone making one call, but doing another thing, you don't, like it looks, I'm sure it looks a whole lot worse than it actually is. Right. So that like, just as a casual viewer, that that's, that's a one noticeable thing. So I'm hoping that improves as each game comes on. Yep. I would agree with that. Uh, predictions for this game. Are you sensing a Canadian win? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they're playing better every game. Rachel hasn't missed a shot that's possible. So I'm convinced, like, everyone else is in trouble. <laughs>